Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Data Center Season 2. And in today's episode, we are going to discuss yet another important aspect in data center design. So, why to wait further? So, let's start today's episode. So, in today's episode, you will learn about data center flow ties and raised floor system. Also, as the title of the video says, you will learn about top 10 consideration to be made before choosing the data center flow. But before that, let us know what the importance of raised flooring in data center design. Data centers are usually built in warehouses with raised floors, but the actual floors they are built on can vary depending on the needs of its users. The data center access flow system is an important channel for downward air supply. The refrigeration equipment sends the cold air into the raised flow, which can be evenly distributed cold air in the rack of the data center. In addition, data cables and power cables can be arranged in the space of data center raised flow system. So the main function of the data center raised flooring system is to provide support for IT equipment and leave enough bottom space to solve the problem of power and communication cable wiring in the data center to effectively control the flow of cooling air in the computer room to heat IT equipment and to solve some static electricity problem. Now, let us move to the important consideration to be made before choosing the flow type for a race system. But before that, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to never miss the update and also give us motivating to keep going. Tile flooring is an important traditional option but raised floor option also available in the market. Tile will be last longer and easier to maintain but raised floor offer additional benefit like increased airflow and then noise control. Therefore, before making your decision of the flooring system, consider these 10 points. Cost, noise control, efficiency, comfort, cleanliness, safety, damage prevention, health and safety, reliability, return on investment. With having the 10 points in the mind, you can make better decision when selecting flooring system whether to go for the tile flooring or a raised flooring. To make your decision easy, we will share a little pros and cons of both the system. Let us start with the tile flooring. Tile flooring is a durable and long lasting option that can be installed in a different size, shape and colors. The flooring are typically waterproof and easy to clean. For there are suitable for areas where the people will regularly walk on them as well as those that will be stay dry during the inclement weather. Tile flooring is also a cost effective option because of the low installation cost associated with this type of flooring. It's also more resistance to damage from spills or slips than other materials like carpet or linoleum. Tile flooring is an ideal choice for the data center with the high traffic as it provides a smooth surface that is easy to keep clean. In addition, tile floors are often fireproof due to the use of concrete mortar that covers the surface of the tile. In choosing the flooring for your data center, you will need to consider whether the floor will be open to walking traffic without obstruction from any other components in your facility, such as cables or cooling equipment. One of the key considerations when choosing the tile floor your data center is how they impact occupancy. The size of the tile can be varied depending on the, what type it is and how it will be used. But generally speaking, the smaller the tile, the less impact it will have on occupancy. Tile floors that use smaller tiles like 8 by 8 mm tiles allow for greater occupancy rates because more people can walk across them at once without impeding others' progress. Now, let us look at the raised floor system. The raised floor system uses a grid structure, pedestals and a raised floor tiles which creates a gap above the substrate. Pedestals support the grid of a raised floor system which you can adjust vertically to attain the desired space above the subfloor. In addition, depending on the data center specific requirements, you can affix the pedestal to the substrate using several mechanical and adhesive options. This type of flooring was the first witness in 1960, but nowadays there is an increase in demand in the most of the buildings which require communication and information infrastructure such as data center. The good thing with this flow system is that they are flexible because of easy maintenance, 
easy access for recover configuration and the removable floor panels. Additionally, here are some of the components of raised flooring. These include floor boxes that cut into floor panels to provide connection points for data and power, floor finish which is normally carpet tiles, pedestals and floor panels that create a flat surface of the raised floor. Key benefits of the raised floor systems 1. Keep the data center cool. The major problem in the most of data center is the high amount of heat which is generated by the server. This makes problematic among the managers and the designers. Therefore, when the servers get overheated, it's important to find the way to provide extra cooling for the proper maintenance of the existing infrastructure. Such a problem is normally caused by poor airflow management by cooling systems in place. Therefore, perforated raised floor tiles are very appropriate in keeping the data center cool because they are easy to maintain and make the working environment conducive. However, these tiles should not be placed permanently because they can restrict airflow. Next benefit, it allows additional equipment and cabling installation for upgrading of any new equipment has to be made easy in the data center courtesy of raised flooring system. This can include renovation of premises or installation of cabling. It provides ample space which allows effective cabling and it is cheaper than mounting the cables in the ceiling. It also helps in consolidating power plugs, physical ports and hiding the cables. This keeps the floor neat and uncluttered. The data center should be have an effective wiring system and ensure that there is nothing that blocks lighting fixture and any technician does not need to access the cabling using the ladders. Next, flexible design. Flexibility in the construction of a data center raised floor needs to be considered so that the facility is given some room in case of future development needs. This will make it easy for the installation of future and current equipment. Once the floor is installed, the space under there, which will allow effective circulation and it will be easy for the technician to undertake regular maintenance and the cleaning. Additionally, the data center with a raised floor is a better than that is slab based design because of more air can be channeled under the floor thus allowing effective cooling for the equipment. Next, raised floor tile is easy to maintain. Effective tile maintenance of a data center is very necessary to keep off potential hazards and pollutants that could easily lead to occupational health hazards. Therefore, raised floor tiles have been designed in a way that it is easy to clean the dust that at settlement underneath the tiles and the equipment. Technician will be allowed to have regular cleaning policy. Under it, the raised floor, this is ensure that these tiles are clean and free from the containment that could be into the servers which increase the risk of equipment failure. Also, a data center with a raised floor should ensure cabling management is taken seriously. This is because if cables are stacked in one area that could prevent some equipment from being effectively cooled or they can even restrict and block the airflow. To avoid such a scenario, data center managers should monitor the cables and arrange for the replacement to be done on existing cables to ensure the optimal performance of the equipment. Raised floor tile system is not grounded but you can easily access the ground of the building because the design allows them to dissipate static energy effectively. And last, it reduces on cost. Cost is among the top consideration for the construction of a data center facility. This is because there will be running cost alongside the construction cost which requires the planners to effectively come up with a strategy on how they will minimize the overall cost of the data center. Therefore, having a raised floor tile system, it helps in the cost reduction because it can save on the running cost. I know it might be the costly for the first installation but time goes, it dramatically reduces the operation cost. Raised flow system might be appears as one of the oldest design to be used to meet the cooling needs of data center but as you have seen, it has proven the very well effectively. Therefore, data center managers should maximize this technology because it offers a lot of benefits. Technicians should also adhere to the standards of cleaning and maintenance to obtain sustainable results. Now that you know the difference between the flooring system, you can make informed decision. But wait, before making 
one of the last thing you need to do ask 10 question yourself are you ready for an investment are you planning to make changes in the future do you need freedom of access do you want to give employee a freedom of movement are there concern about fire and safety are there concern about knowledge toxicity will employee have easy access to their work areas at all times is security important for your business how much do you want to spend on the infrastructure improvement what type of wire management system will work best for your space and even after this if you are still unsure you can contact us by calling us on 9696086262 or you can write to us at info@mspl.group.com and our experts will help you out you can also connect with us on facebook instagram and linkedin for the updates and do visit mspwebstore.com our online store for power backup solutions for home office and also for accessories related to data center we hope we have provided some valuable information to you thank you for watching this video till end take care of yourself and loved ones this is pranav along with nitin signing off see you soon